What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So as promised today we are looking at cannabis and bipolar disorder. So let's get at it babe. Bipolar disorder is a complex of chronic mental health condition that affects many people around the world. The disorder is characterized by mood swings that range from manic highs to depressive lows. People with bipolar disorder may experience periods of high energy, euphoria, and impulsivity during manic episodes, followed by periods of deep sadness, hopelessness, and isolation during depressive episodes. While there is no cure for bipolar disorder, there are several treatments that can help manage symptoms, including medication, therapy, and lifestyle changes. One treatment that has gained increasing attention in recent years is the use of cannabis. Cannabis is a plant that contains multiple active compounds, including THC and CBD. These compounds interact with the body's endocannabinoid system, which is involved in the regulation of mood, emotions, and behavior. While the use of cannabis for bipolar disorder is controversial, some people with the condition report that it helps them manage their symptoms. However, there is limited scientific evidence to support the use of cannabis for bipolar disorder, and some studies have suggested that it may worsen symptoms. Jumping in in the middle of the video, as always, I ask you to please like, subscribe, ding that bell, you'll get notified. You can buy me a coffee and I'll drink it. Also, my Patreon, if you want to like sign up for like the $1 membership, it will help me tremendously. I love you guys. Back to cannabis, right? Several studies have found that the use of cannabis can trigger manic or hypermanic episodes in people with bipolar disorder. A study conducted in 2015 found that patients with bipolar disorder who use cannabis were more likely to experience manic or hypermanic episodes than those who did not use cannabis. The study also found that cannabis use was associated with greater severity of symptoms and poor treatment outcomes. Another study published by the Journal of Affective Disorders found that cannabis use was associated with the higher risk of developing rapid cycling courses in people with bipolar disorder. Rapid cycling is a form of disorder characterized by frequent and intense mood shifts that occur four or five times a year. The study has found also that cannabis use was associated with more frequent hospitalizations and higher rates of suicide attempts. Despite these findings, some people with bipolar disorder continue to use cannabis to manage their symptoms. They may also use cannabis to cope with the side effects of medication or to relieve anxiety and stress. Some people find that they can use cannabis safely and effectively, while others may experience negative effects. Overall, the use of cannabis for bipolar disorder is controversial and lacks sufficient scientific evidence to support its use. While some people find that cannabis helps manage their symptoms, others may experience negative effects, including the triggering of manic episodes or the development of rapid cycling. People with bipolar disorder who are considering the use of cannabis should talk with their healthcare provider to weigh the potential benefits and the risks and to develop a comprehensive treatment plan. I hope that that helps you guys understand cannabis and bipolar disorder just a little bit better. If you have any other questions or concerns, please file them down in the comments. I will always read them and respond to them. And until next time, guys, I love you. Deuces.